The work that I do is based off of a quote that I got about 10 years ago on a magnet, uh, and it says, a quarter of the genes found in bananas are also found in humans. Get the over yourself. My name is Danielle Elizabeth Hine. I go by Miss Hine on all the wonderful social platforms. So, lost my job recently um, because the only way to keep it was to move out of New Orleans. So I'm going to play around with what it feels like to be a full-time artist. I really dug into what makes up people. So you'll see a lot of skulls in my work. You'll see lips, mustaches, eyeballs. Breaking down the things that, when you put it all together, makes us, you know, a human. The other part of the art is all the costuming that I do. I try to make everything as recycled as possible. Our thrift stores are super great. Headdresses are for sure the main thing. I think I dress to the headdress, and so I wanted to see if I could make it myself. Flip a visor around, glue a bunch of to it, and you know, walk out your door. Everyone here is so proud of being from New Orleans, and everyone has got a little bit of a different background. And so it's just got tons of different things that have inspired me. My color palette in general since I've moved to Louisiana has taken a huge turn. Iridescent materials and like vintage wallpaper and a lot of, you know, found things. More recently, I actually dug into the public art space. The whole point of why I'm creating stuff is, is so that it can be out there and hopefully bring a little joy to somebody else. And so recently I just finished my first mural, which was about a thousand square feet. So I asked this auto body shop that is next to the yoga studio that I teach at, and I've been passing by this wall for three years. And I was like, Kevin, if you pay for the paint, let me paint your wall. And he was like, yeah, sure, let's do that. The community that has come together to make the mural happen was incredible and like that friend helping friend type of community that, you know, has kind of lifted everybody up. That's the space that I want to continue to move into is like, how can I leave my mark on the community that I care about so much and how can I do it in a manner that it's, it's accessible for everybody? And then you can use art to talk about things. You can talk about things that we don't want to talk about because they're uncomfortable. And, you know, I'm not coming to the community with an answer, but I certainly want to come to the community community with something that's going to make them question why things are. I just landed an artist residency, which I'm super pumped about. It's with seven other artists in New Orleans, all from different backgrounds, all in different dif disciplines. Really excited to work with them and then a ton more public art. Like as much public art as people will let me. Like if you have a wall, give it to me, you know, and like maybe buy me a beer every once in a while. And then we'll see how long I can get my rent paid for and we'll go from there. <laughs>